Hi, it's Carrie, back with another Evolvio video. I'm a bit frustrated for a few reasons, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, some people said that I talk too much in my videos, so let's see if I can get this video shorter, like under 8 minutes, hopefully. So, the f so let's talk about some edits that I've done. This is the episode of downgrades because everything has been downgraded. So, what's downgrade number one? Well, if you notice, these creatures look a lot smaller. And that's because last time I said I was gonna make all the land bigger, but making the creatures smaller is essentially the same thing because the creatures also move slower as you can see. They can see less far and when they eat, they eat slower. So it's essentially like the land got bigger. That's downgrade number one, the size got downgraded. Downgrade number two, see this creature how it's a blue body? Normally if it were to die and put its biomass onto the tile below it, the tile would become blue with the food. So I'm going to vomit right now and show you what happens this time. The tile becomes a deep orange. As you can see, Food on a tile always has to stay the same color of the climate of that tile. Why did you, why did they do that? Well, um, so I wanted Evolvio to run faster. So I realized that the calculations for a tile growing yums over time are very repetitive and predictable. I could calculate how much food a tile has grown over 100 generations without doing a calculation every single generation by looking at the temperature over that course of time, which is like a sine wave, and calculating the area under that sine wave. And then putting that through an exponential function since growth of food is like exponential towards the maximum growth. And then there, I figured out how much it's grown with a single calculation. So now if I run the simulation faster, the tiles won't actually have to run many, many, many times. They only have to run once. So because of that, um, I needed to make it so that tiles only had one dimension of growth because if they had two dimensions of growth, I'd have to do multivariable calculus and it also becomes more confusing because the amount of, uh, it changes, like there's so much interaction. If you add like blue to red, at the very beginning you'll be adding a ton of blue to the red but then as the red starts to become bluer and bluer then the change is less and less. It's very confusing so I didn't want to do that. So now all food has to stay the same color for a tile. Also, another good thing about that is that creatures of a different color dying in some land wouldn't create toxins that would kill the locals. So that's another good reason to get rid of weird food colors. And yeah, that's downgrade number two. Downgrade number three is that I just moved into college and I couldn't bring my desktop computer or my microphone with me. So all of this is running on my laptop computer and I'm using its built-in microphone. Unfortunately, because my desktop has to use its fan to cool itself off and it's very near the microphone, um, there's a very loud hissing noise of the fan that you can probably hear. I'll try to remove it in post-production, but the quality is just going to be so much worse. But the worst thing about that is that my laptop is like much less powerful than my desktop, so you can see it's like running at like 4 frames per second, and it's just terrible. That's because my laptop can't handle open broadcasting software and Evolvio running at the same time very well. So while I talk about some more stuff, let's just turn on brain control and see what happens. Not really anything different is going to happen because they haven't added major changes due to all the downgrades. So now, let me just tell you once and for all why I'm frustrated. So I've been getting a lot of attention on my Evolvio videos lately, and there's a ton of you recommending changes I can make to the simulator to make it better or run faster. Some of you have been suggesting multi-threading because all these features are doing similar calculations and there's like a thousand of them, or not a thousand of them yet, but there could be. and. That should be multi-threaded or something. So I tried adding that into my like Java code and all that, and I kept running into bugs, but I eventually fixed it all, just to find out that it actually ran slower with multi-threading. Because between every single frame of calculation, um, creatures are going to have to call back on each other and find out where their coordinates are and stuff. So the only part that can be multi-threaded is the stuff in between frames. So that means every single frame, a threat all the threads have to be created and then destroyed, created and destroyed, and I think there's just too much overhead in all that creation and destruction for it to be worth it. So I'm very sad that I couldn't get this to run any faster. Hopefully the optimization I did with tile growth can make it run faster, but I've noticed that since this laptop is slower, the two forces kind of cancel out, and I'm getting about the same speed I got on my desktop before the op optimization, now on my laptop after it. And then on top of that, when I have open broadcasting software running, it goes even slower, so really if I want to see ev any evolution at all, I should stop recording it and then come back later. So here we are a bit later, 18 years in, 
And this is something I've never seen before, this very consistent linear growth. And I think it's because I had food growing on the land for like five or six years of me just talking while the creatures were kind of uh, like hibernating. So all the food was just stockpiling on the tiles and so seasons don't really matter. Oh wait, seasons don't matter because of this thing. I'm gonna make seasons matter now. You can see that due to creatures being picky with the colors of their mouths and the colors of the food they can eat, we have very clustered regions of creatures separated by large regions that are mostly untouched. Okay, so as the Volvio is running painfully slow in the background, I think I'll just say some final thoughts of what I think about Evolvio. Right now, I'm kind of just disappointed about how Evolvio always just results in creatures doing boring, predictable slow circles while they eat. I was hoping they would form food trees where like there would be carnivores that would hunt after herbivores and things like that, but I just don't think that's going to happen. And I know like tons of people are telling me things I'm doing wrong with the neural network, and I do read most of them, but like right now I'm just busy and I have college and there's a ton of other projects that I'm working on along with one that will be announced in a week or two, so stay tuned for that. But like I just, I'm feeling bogged down with Evolvio, like where is it going to go? I just can't see it becoming anything more interesting than it currently is, so I think I might take a break. But what that means is I'm going to release the source code for this online so that other people, if they want to, can pick up where I left off. Normally if I want to put a processing file online, I would use open processing, but I'm not going to do that this time, because if I put it on open processing, I have to convert it first to JavaScript, and usually when you convert to JavaScript, there are a few slight changes, like the graphics don't appear slightly the same, it runs slower, sometimes text like looks slightly different, and I just don't want that to be the case. I want, to, I want you to see exactly what I see. So I'm just going to put the .pde files in a Google Drive folder, which you will have access to at the link in the description. If you want to run Evolvio, get Processing 2 or 3, download those files, and just open it with the Processing 2 or 3, and it should work exactly like you see it working here. This sounds bad, but I'm like pushing the blame off of myself for how bad Evolvio is and like onto other people, because now if other people can like say like, oh, Evolvio should be like this, I can just say like, well, you can go ahead and try adding that on your own. Because, yeah, right now I'm just like kind of busy. That doesn't mean Evolvio is done forever. I might come back to it in the future. But for the time being, this might be the end. Oh, also, I'm taking a lot of machine learning classes in college. So if any of you are wondering why I don't know some basic topics that I should know, well, I might in the future. So just you wait and I'll soon be able to do things like I should be doing them.